This client is someone who travels a lot for work and is kind of in and out of the condo. And so we wanted to make it very comfortable for when she came home and we wanted to make it really fun for her, throw in some patterns and make it really light and airy. So when she comes home, she loves her space. She brought me in because it was just a basic builder's box, essentially. It was very white, the floors are light, and it was empty. So we needed to kind of jazz it up. She needed help with furniture layout, how to bring everything into the space and where to put it, and make it a little bit more fun for her. Some of the challenges are definitely space and just fitting things in. You know, you stuff to make it livable, but it can't feel crowded. For example, here, having the nice living room, but then also maybe having a little dining area that isn't just the island. We had put in a really small table, but that could still seat a lot of people around it. So it's just finding that balance between the pieces. Her aesthetic was definitely hotel chic, I would say. She does have all the beautiful windows. She is south facing, so she wanted it to be light. She wanted it to be airy. She wanted to walk in and just feel very comfortable. She definitely loves pattern. For example, the sofa. In this case, we went with something with pattern, but it's still in a nice neutral fabric so that it's not too crazy. And then we accented it with the little hints of the green. We layered it with the wallpaper behind. We layered it with the rug and the coffee tables that have pattern. So it was definitely really fun to have a client that is okay with that and that trusted us to bring that all together for them. She fell in love with this chair when she saw it. She loved the color. With that, we accented with this kind of ivory color that's in the rug and in the sofa. It complements it really nicely. And then you'll see the teal throughout as well in, in little decorative items. The bulkheads that were in here are obviously a little bit of a challenge. And this is something that you don't see on a floor plan. We like to accent with wallpaper and things to kind of draw your eye away from all of the bulkheads. We chose this layout in particular so that we could put the wallpaper on this wall. There were multiple other layouts with sectionals and different things like that, but this really worked out in order to flow nicely and to hide some of those things that aren't always pleasing to the eye. The one thing that she loves is the little end table that she found in New York and actually got shipped here. And I love it as well. It's got like gold leaves in it with an acrylic top. And it's just, there's little things like that in here that are so her that I love that she was able to bring in and that she found. And it's little things like that that really give it personality specific to our client. The master bedroom is definitely girly. The client fell in love with this silk pink bedding. So we said, yeah, let's go for it. We paired it with a really beautiful gray fabric just so that it's not so over the top. And then we put a beautiful wallpaper on the back wall that kind of mimics the bedding and ties everything together really nicely. We chose to do the paper on the accent wall because it's the wall that you look at when you come in and it really just frames that whole headboard wall. And then the headboard has a nice chrome detail around it as well. So everything kind of layers nicely on that wall. We also had a challenge with the drapery in that room. So again, there's some awkward bulkheads. So we actually had to build a valance over the top of it, which is sometimes a little bit of a dated look, but we were able to do it in a very modern way. And then we had the drapes coming from below that. The guest room is one of my favorites and also one of my clients' favorites. She definitely went bold in there and I love that. The wallpaper is one of my favorites. It has a lot of the teal in it as well. And then the bedding kind of plays off of that. We found a beautiful lamp and a beautiful end table that kind of tie everything together. But I just love the use of color and pattern in there. This client has a lot of out of town guests and not necessarily always like a couple. So she decided to do the two twin beds. She also has a young nephew that comes and stays over. So there was multiple reasons to do the twin beds. And I actually loved the idea because it's not just the standard, you know, double bed or queen bed. And it's also a small condo. So when you think of putting a big bed in there, it really fills the room. So this kept it very open and it's a little bit different. And I really liked the idea. She wishes that she could spend more time here and unfortunately she travels a lot and she's in and out, but when she comes home, she tells me how much she loves it. So it's really nice to see how happy it makes her and how much she likes it when she's here.